Okay, in this video we're going to go over assigning different themes to specific pages or posts in WordPress. And as you can see, the um, theme I have here is the 2011 WordPress theme. Okay, and I'm on a page that I created called Different Theme. Okay, and it has the 2011 theme just as all the other pages and posts do. Okay, and we're going to do this by using a plugin called Headspace 2, and I've already installed that and activated it. So let's go here uh, to the actually you, normally you'll come here to the main settings page, settings, Headspace. Uh, you land on this page, um, but what we want to go to is the second one here called Page Modules, and when you get to this page, you'll see two sections up top simple and advanced and then you'll see disabled functions okay so by default this will have a few things in it and but what we're looking for here is this function called page specific theme and so we want to drag that up into one of these sections either one okay and the only difference between these is uh, the functions in this section will show up by default and the functions in this section you'll need to click a little link in order to see them okay um, and you can of course move things out of here and as this is the only thing that I'm looking to use this plugin for at the moment I'm gonna move everything out and I'm gonna go ahead and move this over to simple so I'll see it by default okay All right now I want to go to the um, the page that I created uh, let me just refresh things to make sure everything's right. Um, and underneath my editing section, I'll have my headspace section. And here's where I choose the theme that I want. Okay, and I'm going to choose this one called Citizen Journal. I'm going to update it. Okay, and I've put that page on my menu up here, so different theme. And so, again, this is the front with the normal 2011 theme. And now when I click this, this should have that different theme applied to it. And there you go, it does. Right? Normal page, different theme page. Right? Home page, different theme page. And there you are. It's that easy, but you may run into problems occasionally with some themes. And so we're going to go over possible ways to fix that problem. So let's see the problem that some themes cause. Okay, so if I go back to my editor here, I'm going to choose this theme called Discussion, okay, which is a nice theme, but it causes a problem with this little trick. Okay, so we'll go back and, right, 2011 theme, and now when I choose this, it should have the Discussion theme applied to it, and it does, but you see the problem, right? What's happened is all of my pages have turned into menu items. So when I go to the home page, right, my menu items that I set up in the back here are applied. So these are not all my pages. These are the only, pa only the pages that I wanted to be on the menu items. But here, that's not the case. Okay, and the reason for this is that uh, some themes use different names for the menu navigation position. Okay, so we're going to change that by going in and finding out what the name on the default theme is for the position of the menu. Okay, you can find that out by going to Appearance, Editor. Okay, this is our 2011 theme. And then our menu is going to be in the header file. Okay. And what I'm looking for is I'll do a search for WP underscore nav underscore menu. And you can see I already have that here in my find box. So I'm going to look for that. Okay. And there's an instance of it. But actually, that's just a comment. So let me hit this again. Okay. And that's the actual code that I'm looking for. So when I see this, this section of code, I can see that the name is primary. Okay. And, but
but now let me check out go to a different let me check out the discussion theme okay so now I'm in appearance editor I go up here select theme to edit I'm gonna change this to discussion and again I'm actually in a new tab select that okay now this is these are the files of my discussion theme and I'm gonna look for the header and again I'm gonna search for WP underscore nav underscore menu okay and so now this is the section that I want to deal with and it can be a little bit complicated and uh, different themes are going to be arranged in different ways so you may just have to play around with things um, but here so I've already played around so I know kind of what's going on right back here it's called primary okay so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to change this name right here to primary. Okay. And I'm going to update that file. Okay. And so you remember, right, the problem, what things look like. And now this should be fixed because they both have the same name. And so we'll refresh it and see. And there you go. Right. 2011 theme. 2011 theme. Now the discussion theme on the different page, but the menus aren't messed up. And so that's it.